morning, lovely Ash class. It's Monday the 4th of May, not April anymore, it's May now. And because it's Monday, you have got some new spellings for your task A, but, but do not look at your spellings because task B is to guess your spellings. It's a game where you're going to find out your spellings yourselves. And because we're practicing our spellings, we're going to need to warm up our brains. So task A today is all together to play a game that you will know. It's called Ob and Bob. So off we go. OK, so we are on phonicsplay.co.uk. It is free to log in at the moment with the username March 20, March like the month and 20 the number. And uh, all lowercase, the password is home, H-O-M-E. Um, so all of these are free and this is actually the new updated phonics play website very fancy it's all the same games um, it just looks a bit newer we're going to play picnic on pluto and we are going to play phase three because everybody knows phase three but if you're a year one you should really be doing phase four or five um, but this will help with blending now picnic on pluto we have ob and bob ob likes to eat words that are not real he likes to eat fake words, alien words, we call them sometimes. Bob likes to eat real words. He only eats real words. And those that's what we are looking for when we do our reading. So, so if there's a particular digraph that um, you know that you need to work on, choose that one. Um, I'm just going to choose anyone for now. I am going to choose the E sound, E. Okay, so our job is to read the snack. And see if it needs to go to ob because it's a fake word or if it needs to go to bob because it's a real word let's see mm, e, t, meat meat is meat a real word yes and this meat because it's the double e is the meat as in nice to meet you <coughs> oh my goodness me next word s, e, m, seem seem real or fake it's real Things are not as they seem. <coughs> Goodness me. F e d feed. Feed. I don't think feed is a word. I know that seed is a word, but that starts with a s, not a f. Feed. Feed is not a word. Yum. Oh, delicious. Qu e p. Queep. I don't think creep is a word. I know that creep is a word, but there's, that doesn't start with the same sound. Creep is not a word. Yo. Z e ch zeech z e zeech 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 is not a word. Yo. J e p jeep jeep. A jeep is a word. Bit of a funny word, it's the name of a type of car, isn't it? <coughs> Goodness me. E t feet. Yes, that's a definitely a word, feet, isn't it? <coughs> w e k weak. Weak is a word. Yes, and it's the double E weak, which means it's the weak as in there are seven days, there are seven days. Seven days in a week. K e p keep. Yes. <coughs> you can read this one. Look. E c. Where's it gonna go? Yes. <coughs> we got ten out of ten. Task B today is to guess what your spelling words are. No, don't just guess any word. It's not just any word in the whole world. I'm going to give you some clues and we're going to find out by playing some games. Now, the first game I'm going to do is with the year R's. So if you're not a year R, you can still play the game if you want. It just might take you a long time to do all the games. Um, you only have to do the game that is for your group. So first game I'm going to do is for year R's. So if you are a year R, listen up and you might want to join in by writing down as well. You might want to get a paper and, or something to write on so that you can Find out what your spellings are as we play Clever Quiz. Clever Quiz is when I give you five, whoop, there they are, 
coming off again, five clues as to what your spellings are going to be. And then you can use these clues to guess your spellings. And you get can get two points per clue. You can get one point if you guess the word correctly. And you can have two points if you guess it correctly and you spell the word as well. OK, your first clue, your first word to write is somewhere to throw or kick a ball into or something used to catch fish. <gasps> Where might you kick a ball? It's not gold, by the way, it's not a goal. Somewhere you might throw or kick a ball into and you could use it to catch fish. Starts with mm. Let's see, let's move it and see if you've got it. Pause the video if you need more time. <gasps> mm. T net. There you go. Give yourself one point if you guess net, but two if you spelled it that way. Here's your next clue. You might need to wipe your feet. Oh, I've put swipe. I meant wipe. You might need to wipe your feet when you come into the house if your shoes are covered in. What could that be? Write it down if you think you know it already. OK, the first word in that first letter, rather. You might need to wipe your feet if your shoes are covered in. A. Mm, uh, D. Mud. Give yourself two points if you spelt it correctly. Well done. Your third spelling word is when you jump up and down on one leg. What's that called when you jump up and down on one leg? I bet you know that one already. It starts with a <gasps> oh. P hop. If you guessed hop, Give yourself a point. If you spelt it that way, you get two points. Your next clue is something you can drive. It's bigger than a car, but it's smaller than a lorry. Lots of them are white. And I'll give you another clue is that Vic drives his vegetables in one of these. You remember from phonics. That's a big clue because it starts with a v a mm. Van, well done. There we go, that's your next one. And your last spelling, last clue is, oh, I'm going to go up again. There we go. It's a pink animal with a snout that you might find on a farm. Mm. Yes, you know this one. You know animals with snouts. P I G it's a pig. Well done. You get a point if you knew it was pig. You get two if you spelt it correctly with the right graphemes. Brilliant. Those are your spellings for this week. Move along. OK, so this is for the butterflies. Now, butterflies, your sound this week. Well, it's sort of this sound. You know this one. You're really good at this one. It's ch. It's not ch on its own, though. It still makes the same sound as ch. But sometimes ch can be spelt this way. Ch, ch. What did I add to that ch sound? Yeah, a t, a t, a grapheme at the front. So sometimes ch can look like this. It can be a digraph with two letter shapes. And sometimes ch can look like this. It can be a trigraph with three letter shapes. They both make what sound? Ch. Brilliant. They, but they look slightly different. This one's got a t at the front, but it still makes the ch sound. So now I can get rid of that because we can remember that this, just ignore the wibbly line, that this makes the ch sound. The ch sound. And we can spell words that go with it. Like, do you know any words with ch in? You will find this at the end of words nearly all the time. You won't find it at the beginning. It'll be at the end of a word like w. Oh, why has it gone all small? That's annoying. Let's try it again. Like w. I. What word have I just written? Can you, just ignore the wibbly line. Can you sound that? W. I. Ch. 
Well done if you didn't sound out the t. It doesn't make a sound when it's with a C and an H, a ch together. It makes the ch sound. So this says w, i, ch, which, which, which is spelled with the TCH ch sound. And um, what other words do you know that have the ch sound at the end? Some of them are just the C and H, and some of them are the TCH. What about? Hmm. What word have I just written there? Use your sounds, figure it out. P, a, ch, patch, patch, like a vegetable patch. Okay, so let's move on to your game. Your game today is called Family Fortunes. Ding, ding, ding. Now, instead of having clues for yours, um, you, you already know your big clue is that it has got the ch sound in. So all of your words, I don't want the pat anymore, I just want the ch. I'm going to bring that over with us to here. All of your spelling words have got the ch sound. They've got the ch sound at the end. Okay, so that's your big clue. What words do you know with the ch sound at the end? Like which or patch or... Have a think, write as many as you can. Pause the video now if you'd like some thinking time. And then we will reveal your spelling words. Okay, did you have b, b, ch, a, butcher? That is quite a tricky one. So if you did have that, you can actually have two points because it's a very long, very tricky one, butcher. The next spelling you have is oh. Hutch, hutch, like a rabbit hutch. Give yourself a point if you got that one. Your next one is k, a, ch, catch, catch. Give yourself a point if you had catch. Your next one is p, i, ch, pitch, like a football pitch. Give yourself a point if you had that one. Your next spelling is mmm. Can you guess what it's going to be already? Mmm. A. Ch. Match. Again, like a football match. Or like a match you might use to light a candle. Last one is e. Ch. Fetch. Fetch. Like a dog might fetch something. Those are your spellings for this week. Give yourself a point for everyone you found. Well done and happy practicing, butterflies. And wonderful bees, your spellings this week have got this grapheme in. Now you might know this already as the I sound and it does make the I sound, but it also makes the E sound in some words. It's an alternative way of making the E sound and the E sound you might know sometimes looks like this. It's a double double E. It can be this, but it can also be this. And the words we are doing today will have the E sound in, and the E sound will be spelt this way in those words. Not this way. Not in these words that we're doing today. One of the words you might be writing might be mm, E. E. Do you know any words with E in? That's going to be your game in a minute to think of some E words. One of the words might be something like E sound the word E or D field might be like field. Your words might be like f E er, s, fierce. Your words might be Your words might be b, e, o, e, v. I've left a little space just so you can see the e sound really clearly. B, e, o, e, v, believe. Sometimes the v when it's on the end of words has an e just so that it's uh, just because it does. What's it doing there? B, e, o, e, v, 
believe. So there's that E sound, that I E making that E sound. Today, you're going to find out what the words are, you're going to guess what they are, and you will get a point for every word you can correctly guess in the game called Family Fortunes. Ding, ding, ding. So for every spelling you correctly guess, you get a point. And they will all have the E sound in, so pause this video for just a second and come up with as many E words as you can and try and make them E words with the I, E, E sound. You will need a grown-up to help you. Off you go. Okay, bees, are you back? Have you had a little guess? Have you come up with some words? Now, you could do one, two, three, four, five, six, or you could do more guesses. That's okay. I don't mind. The first word is... Now these are your spellings, remember? E O D Field. I kind of gave you that one for free, didn't I? But that's okay. You can have a point for it if you remembered it. Field. Your next spelling word is S oh no, it's a sh. Can you guess what it's gonna be? Sh E O D Shield Shield. The next word is oh it's a E <gasps> thief thief. Your next spelling word is mm, oh e s miss ch e mischief mischief or sometimes mischief as some people say mischief or mischief. <gasps> Hope you're not getting up to any mischief at home. B r e Brief. Brief is when something's short. And the last one is my favourite one. P -r -e -st. Priest. Priest, like Miss Priest, although she'd have a capital P, wouldn't she, because that's her name. Priest, there we go. Those are your spellings. Oh, actually, there is another one which I didn't put on there because I thought it was a bit too tricky to guess, so I'm just going to tell you. It is, oh, it is, achieve, 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 and achieve gets an E on the end with the v sound, achieve. Um, you also have a tricky word, so check your list for your tricky word, please, and happy practising. That was task A and B. Task C is to practise your spellings any way that suits you, any way that is good for the way that you learn. Miss Priest has helped us out and she has got a really cool spelling die it's called and basically you'll need to print it out if you've got a printer, sorry if you don't, um, and chop it up and fold it and make it into a cube just like a dice and then you can roll it like a dice but instead of having numbers on it's got different ways you can practice your spellings, it's very cool, have a look if you'd like um, and you can use it for the whole week to practice your spellings. Enjoy! I will see you tomorrow where we will be doing some literacy. Have a lovely day. See you then. Bye.